Hi, I'm Chelsea Metko. I'm a kindergarten teacher and mom to Jane and Finley. Today I want to talk about setting up a literacy center at your home. For us, this looks like access everywhere. We want to be able to access books and learning resources no matter where we are in our home. And I want this to be accessible to both parents and my kiddos. So I have a toddler and a baby and I want them to be able to access as well. So this looks like having books on low shelves that they can reach. It looks like having learning materials like writing materials, pens, paper, paint, anything like that where they can access. I know that sounds scary, it sounds messy, but we want them to be able to access and use these pieces as well. It also looks like books in every room of your house. I wanna show you what this actually looks like in our house, so we're gonna go through some pictures together. All right, here we have a picture of our library cart. Our family goes to the library once a week, every week, to get new library books. We wanna make sure that we have a space in our home where our kids can put the library books and always know where they go. There's also a low bookshelf here where they can access books easily. Here's another picture in our living room of a bookshelf that has low access. We want Jane to be able to go and grab a book at any point. There's also a chair right beside here where she likes to sit and read her bedtime stories before going to her room. This is a picture of a shelf in our nursery. I love to have books really close to the chair so that when I'm nursing, I can actually be reading to my baby. These are shelves built by grandpa. These are in the nursery near the crib and we wanted to make sure that they were very low so that as our children grew up, they would be able to walk over or toddle over and grab a book from the shelf. Here's a picture of Jane's bed. We love to have her bedtime stories right on the bed. It happens to have bookshelves here, which is fantastic. If you don't, you can have a shelf right near the bed where your children can pick out their favorite bedtime stories. Here's another shelf in Jane's room. We call this the reading nook shelf. We don't have a very big space in our home, so we have a little play couch in her room as her reading nook. She's able to grab books whenever she pleases and to be absolutely completely honest, it does not look like this very often. You're gonna see books splattered all over the floor, but that's okay. We get to clean it up together after. Here's an easel in our dining room. We love to have access for her for painting supplies and writing supplies so she can practice her printing. We also like to put books there so that she can be inspired for her art and creativity. Did you know that the bathtub can be a literacy center as well? Here we have books that could go in the bathtub as well as letters that we could use to manipulate words and we can practice learning our letters and our sounds. And of course, books in the kitchen. We have cookbooks for adults, but there's also cookbooks for children. We actually got this brownie book from our local library, which goes through the alphabet as well as a recipe to make brownies. So Jane got to make brownies with mom. Having books and other learning materials around that are accessible to both parents and children, make sure that this is part of your daily routine. And that's what we want. If you want to take a closer look at the picture shown in this video, need a refresher, or want to take a look at Janet's book, check the description below. I'm Chelsea Mitko, and thanks for visiting Born to Read.